of it. Cool. I'll look over some of these things. We've got enough like weird kind of borderline items that I'll have to look them over. And the jacket's seven. I don't like picking up borderline jackets in February, especially late February. All right, we're gonna go over to the pants section. Yes, we're gonna go to the pants section if we can get there. Size on the AEO is a size large. I think that's a men's large, I'll double check it. Ripping the arm of the coat. Look at all these people looking out for me. Thank you, Erwin. Jeez, how did you see that? That's amazing. Look at that. Erwin, for the win. Good afternoon, Chris. How's the thrifting going? Eric, good to see you. Thanks for coming back. All right, this, this is gonna be, here's my cardio for the day, cross training. Like that? That's my, that's my cross training for the day. Oh, check this out. Hey everybody, by the way, check out my shirt. I don't know if you can see this. Actually, let's just do this the other way. Sorry, that was weird. Let me flip the camera. Oh, you can see my shirt. <laughs> Hope you like that shirt, it's funny. And the man behind the mask too. How do I flip this camera again? It's funny, on my two different phones, all the settings are different on TikTok Lives. Like, I have to go to different menus to do the same thing on my two different phones. I might have two different versions of the app, maybe? I don't know. And that was a, a gift from my friend, Carol. I think that was my last gift for my last birthday. All right. So I'm gonna skim the pants section. I'm not gonna go through every one like I do with the shirts. Uh, what I'm gonna look for is I'm gonna be looking for wool pants. I'm looking for golf pants. I'm looking for hiking pants. So like kind of like polyester kind of stuff. And I'm looking for kind of like tactical pants, cargo pants, corduroys. And just things that are like kind of unique that catch my eye. Nothing there. And I'm looking for jeans, by the way, too. Not those. So as we see, and those of you who do like thrifting the resale, you already know this, but I mean, I probably have 15 or 20 things in the cart and we've gone through today probably like, I don't know, 5,000 items or something crazy like that. Plenty of good items, good brands, good quality stuff that are leaving behind for people who need to buy clothes because they need clothes. Good brands that we've passed by too. So we're not just, we're just taking stuff that has particularly good resale value and that we know that we'll have like a quick sell through rate. We're leaving behind so many good things, <laughs> including these Wrangler jeans, modern Wrangler jeans. We're just gonna leave those behind. What are these shoes? Y'all know that brand? Oh man, that's such a good brand too. And they are torched. You know this brand? I think you pronounce it Oslo. Some people would say it a solo, but I think it's pronounced Oslo. But these shoes are torched. That's a great brand. I have a really expensive pair, like full leather core hiking boots from them that I've had for years. That is a beast of a brand. One of those shoes just fell down. Crap. Sorry, I knocked down the shoe. Ooh, I okay. didn't mean to. No, I, I know you absolutely meant to. <laughs> there it goes. Stay there. Stay. Yeah. Don't jump. Seems okay for now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely a big time shoe there. But there's literally 0% life left in that thing. Total bummer. Total bummer. Total bummer. And what? 
just a little pro tip. Sometimes it's, instead of looking around for a tag, sometimes you can just look at the button on the front top and you can see the brand right there. Instead of kind of looking around on the inside, fishing around for it. I'm banned from the thrift store. Oh my gosh, what'd you do to get banned? We'll look at some of these like uh, jogger pants and track pants too. There's a pair of Adidas baseball pants. So, so there you go. You can just look on the button sometimes instead of fishing around the inside for a tag. Make a round tree in York Wall. What's your favorite bow? You pick up a lot. Um, pick up a lot. Well, one of my bread and butter brands. I pick up a ton of Wrangler Pearl Snaps, and uh, it's not the most valuable item in the world, but it's a good, consistent seller for me. Keeps the lights on at home. Don't poo-poo those brands that you find that just happen to sell well in your store that aren't huge profit items, but you sell enough of them, right? That pays some of your utility bills. Bigger sizes, especially sizes with tall. Oh, your husband banned you from, okay. Baseball about to start back up. Yep, baseball is a good thing, and it's, uh, it's already started in a lot in the south. They play a lot of baseball in the, the wintertime down in Florida and whatnot. So, But yes, in general, baseball stuff will start selling a lot better. Levi Red Seam. You're talking about these, uh, there's a pair of modern Levi's, like a tan color. Is that the ones you're referring to? Tennis also, yep. Oh, here's some camo. I tend to look for camo. Camo sells well. Uh, Pro Gear by Wrangler. I don't think these are going to be the pickup. They're kind of in rough shape. Big size though. Camo, Wrangler, Pro Gear. I think I'm going to pass on them, but somebody can talk me into it. It's a, yeah, the tag's peeling off. A lot of wear. I don't know. They're size 48. Can you go to the 3XL t-shirts, please? These are 48 on these, so let me see if I cut them. Usually Wranglers are on the inside here. So it's a modern Wrangler tag, 46 by 30. That's a 46. All right, let's go to the money rack, y'all. It's time. I started my string cleaning, early old stock going on sale today and tomorrow. I think this is a great time to, to run a, uh, a sale. A lot of us who are clothing resellers are, are experiencing slow sales, and that's because it is a slow time for clothing retail. If you know anybody who, if you know anybody who works at a, a retail clothing store, they'll tell you that, gee, that February is not good for them either. So it's not just eBay, Poshmark, it's not just used stuff, it's not just your store. So this is a pull, this is a Ralph Warren, but it's a, I can already see the holes. I think I passed on this last week. No, it's a Chaps, but it's got holes in it. And Chaps I don't pick up anyway. So yeah, it's just a slow month. So all the retailers are doing heavy discounting right now too. So as we are, as resellers, as people on eBay and Poshmark, we're also competing with retailers right now too. So if retailers are having clearance sales and stuff like that, they're competing for that same dollar that you're that you're um, competing for, Poshmark and eBay. So something to keep in mind. I think it's a great time to do a sale. So these are my favorite things to buy and sell. Um, this might be a grab, by the way, because everybody overlooks this section. So here we go. We got a Warren Ralph Warren. Every, any thrift store in the country you're going to go in you're going to find this so it's a 44 hour it's 100 percent wool uh, i think it's 100 percent. yep 100 percent wool but one thing that this so 44 is not a great size it's just a math size but those, those gold buttons help sell 
just gotta check the condition of this thing over. I'll do that when I have two hands free. One, you're in one hand, so I can't really do a lot of the inspecting, but a couple things I inspect right away are the lapel. That's where a lot of stains are gonna happen, right on the front. You know, people eat and drink with the front and right on the ends of the sleeves here. Looks like there's something here. Oftentimes these buttons go missing or this is where like wear and hold holes are. So I check those first. These are okay. People saying I see stains, but I don't. It could just be the camera a little bit. Yeah, so like we're talking about, something like this uh, is gonna elevate the, the value of this item and the sell-through rate is these gold buttons will help. So the navy with the gold buttons is classic and that lowers the supply of what's listed on eBay and Poshmark, which will help that item sell a little bit faster. And Ralph Warren again, in bigger sizes or a nice pattern. See the pattern on this? Like this would be a nice pattern, but it's a bad brand. So you gotta look, and I know you already do this. It's uh, Joseo. I know you're already looking beyond the brand, but just kind of saying that more broadly for everybody who's in the chat, 332 people. Thanks for being here. But you got to look beyond the brand too. You can't just say like, hey, I buy or don't buy or Ralph Warren. You got to know the little things to look for in any brand, which will help it move. This looks like a no-name brand. It feels like it's cotton, by the way, too. But those buttons are something to look for. It's not going to turn a crappy brand into a a good brand but it's going to turn a mediocre brand into a good item to pick up so just going to note those little things like sizes patterns and little details like those gold buttons if you want to buy those camo jeans please go back what's a better size than 44 uh, bigger sizes 48 plus is something i typically look for that'll elevate uh, the value and the sell-through rate of items because there'll just be a lower uh, a lower supply, like less competition for you. Yeah, I would pick up those uh, those camo pants, but the the condition on them was a uh, suspect, and it's a borderline piece anyway. But with the rough condition, I just uh, I'm not gonna pick it up. And it, maybe it didn't come through, but those were, they were pretty rough. My brother goes to UVA, but is broken. Love that blue and gold button jacket. There you go. That's like a classic sort of like UVA. You go to UVA, you want like that Navy jacket. Is he part of like a fraternity? I think that's like a classic sort of fraternity look, right? Christy, appreciate the follow. So we only have one blazer so far, but I have a feeling I gotta get something. It's rare where I don't walk out of here without like a couple of blazers. One thing I wish thrift stores did a better job at was would be keeping the uh, the blazers with their pants. They get donated, I bet you most of these things were donated as suits, but just in their process of sorting through inventory and pricing it and putting it out on the floor, like they always end up just as blazers. So like. I don't even know if there's any suits on here, but I know that probably 90% of these were donated as suits, but it's kind of a bummer. And that's just the way it is. I love live thrifting, AZ Thrift and Flip. How are you? Thanks for bringing some positive energy. He's not the hands on people. A lot of guys just like that here. Gotcha, yep, gotcha. That's that classic sort of UVA like campus I guess in any campus really but I think about those northern campuses and Virginia campuses I also look for stacked or crowded buttons and surgeon cuffs there you go those surgeon cuffs are the ones where they actually button up most blazers just have these like ornate buttons here but they're sewn closed the surgeon want buttons are the ones where they actually these are actually functional buttons right good thing to look for so this looks like, oh, I was gonna say that looked like a Ralph Warren, but it's not, it's Michael Coors. Where are you thrifting? I'm in Asheville, North Carolina, I'm at a Goodwill. I do these live thrifts. Well, I've been doing them once a week for the last few weeks. So if you missed part of this, you wanna see the rest of the, the show, the live, so to speak, this recording will be on YouTube later on tonight. So consider clicking up on my website up at the top of the page, click on my name and uh, 
maybe give me a subscription over on YouTube. And you can see this whole live throw. I think these are a great way to learn and share information because you get to hear why I'm picking up certain things and why I'm passing on certain things. And as I always say, it's more than just the brand when we're out here. What brands are worth looking at closer in Blazers? A lot of them. Um, some of the more common ones I found and I pick a lot are Ralph Lauren, Brooks Brothers, and lately I've been finding more are Menegildo Senya, which is one of my favorites. Canali is another one of my favorites. But there's a lot of them. You can always check. You can click on my, my website and uh, go into my eBay store, my Poshmark closet, and you can see what I have listed, like what brands I have to get some ideas. But I always say you got to learn beyond the brands too. I don't just pick up everything from those brands. Got to look for sizes, materials. So some things in here to look for would be uh, linen and silk uh, tend to sell better on average than their uh, than wool items from that same brand. Things like gold buttons help. Like nice plaid patterns that are unique help because then you're not just you're just not competing with as many people. Oh, There's a modern jacket here. What is this? Uh, nothing. It had a nice feel to it. A nice, like, thin lapel, like, kind of modern, but nothing. Kitten is an amazing seller, and the designer just passed it. Let me just double check that. I don't think I know that one. Kitten. So, if you don't know Risner costumes, Risner is one of the people I listen to the most closely about clothing because she knows her stuff. So let's see, Keaton. Which site has the easiest listing selling? Uh, I'm a big fan of Poshmark. It's really easy to ship on there. Really, really easy to sh ship on there. And I think the listing's quicker than eBay. eBay's got so many extra buttons and things you gotta click on. I like eBay, but objectively, I think Poshmark is easier. Am I looking in the right place, Risner? Or if you're sending me on a wild goose chase, that's cool too. I respect it actually. I'm going backwards through all this stuff. I'm looking for Kinton. Grab the Kinton. Where is this? I'm listening, Eric. Where is this Kinton? Thanks, Rizner. <laughs> Appreciate the bolo. Didn't you say? And just passed. Oh, the designer just passed. I thought you said I passed it. Gotcha. Sorry about to hear that the designer passed. Thank you for the bolo. And the wild goose chase. We all had fun with that. Okay, I think this is where I left off. Yep, yeah, okay. Gap. Yeah. Let's get some end of the rack magic. I see a corduroy. That's got me intrigued. Uh, I was giving a bag full of insoles. Should I give them out to shoe buyers or sell them? I'm given a bag full of insoles. Should I give them out to shoe buyers or sell them? No, it's okay, Rizner. I'm, I'm not mad. Uh, Chris, I, I just I don't know. I, I don't have. A, I don't think I have enough information, Eric. To I don't really know what you have or what the value of it is. So it'd be hard for me to answer that question. I'm just not sure. Sounds like you got a good question there. I just don't know that I have the answer, the information to answer your question. Thank you for the follow, Maggie Mae. So out of all that, we got this one blazer, Ralph Lauren. You'll find these at any thrift store in the country. You'll find at least one Ralph Lauren that's worth picking up. This one's worth picking up because it's got these gold buttons. I think there's like a couple little, that feels like a spot that'll just like kind of rub right off. So what I will take, when I get home, I'll take a, a damp cloth and uh, like really, really just barely damp and just give that like a quick little wipe. I think we're good there. The one thing I do say though is all the time is that stains travel in packs, they travel in gangs, they bring their friends. They're unwelcome, but they keep inviting more people. So I'll have to look that one over a little bit more closely once I get a hand free. Let's go spin through some shoes. 
that was kind of a, uh, a disappointment with just one blazer. But last week we found, in that live thrift, I found like three really good blazers at that one store. So you gotta take the good with the bad, I suppose. There's some old FUBU shoes. Gosh, those are torched. They're like suede, but they're like destroyed. <laughs> didn't do this section. Let's do this section really quick. We didn't do these pants. Some Levi's, They're pretty roughed up. I think I'm gonna pass on these ones. Yeah, those are a little rough. I don't mind picking up uh, distressed jeans. Some people will look for those, but those ones were just a little too much. I'm looking for corduroys, I'm looking for jeans, looking for hiking pants. Here's some cords, some J. Crew matchstick size 27. I'm gonna pass on those. 100% silk Mark Jeffries blazer. Uh, I f my gut, my instinct tells me to, to pass on that item, but this game's always a little bit harder when I'm not looking at the item too. But I think Mark Jeffries is probably a pass. But you can easily comp that too. But my gut tells me no. There's a Burberry blazer here in North Carolina I've seen for a month, but it's got a small stain. Yeah, that's kind of a pain. Um, Burberry with a stain, if you're willing to be patient, will sell. Uh, I guess it just kind of depends on where the stain is, how big it is, you know, how noticeable it is. But I have sold like stuff like that before in the past. You know, if the item is, you know, Burberry blazer can sell for, you know, 80 to 100 bucks if it's in good condition. So with a stain, even if you half price it, you know, uh Oh, we got a return. Um, if you can list that for 40 or 50 bucks, half price, um, not every buyer is going to want that item, but somebody will come along eventually and want to get like a really nice blazer for 50% off what they can get it for, uh, from another seller without a stain. So something to think about, I'm not telling you to go pick it up. I try not to make a habit of picking up flawed items, but you might, give it a whirl, especially if it's cheap. If it has any Nova check, yeah, that's a good point. So Burberry with a Nova check anywhere, even on the inside helps the value of that item um, pretty significantly. Risner with the good insight, the beyond the brand insight. I love that. White path black jacket, full weather. It was some scuff the weather, but I am not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know that brand, to be honest with you, Erwin. I appreciate you asking the question. I just don't know. Not familiar. Maybe somebody in the chat knows that brand. I don't. Appreciate the rose. The thrifter sifter is in the house. Giving me flowers. What a kind, what a kind dude. Veronica's birthday. Everyone, let's do some, uh, let's do some happy birthday emojis. Let's get some cake emojis, some balloon emojis, or just write happy birthday to Veronica. It's her birthday. Everybody on their birthday deserves just some uh, some love and some appreciation and respect. You made it around the sun one more time. Veronica, I hope you have an awesome day. Look at all these comments coming in. I didn't know if that was just sent or what. Appreciate the rose, whether it was intentional or not. Thrifter, sifter, you're all right in my book. I don't even have a book, but if, you, if I did, you'd be all right in it. So we're gonna go through these pants pretty quickly. I'm gonna start from the other side. That way we can see the tags a little bit easier. We're looking for jeans, corduroys, wool pants, hiking pants, track pants. Here's some Levi's. Y'all already know I like picking up Levi's when they're the gray or black color. They sell a little better for me. Uh, I don't really like that. I don't know. I might pick them up anyway. If that's the only flaw. Usually flaws come in packs too. So it's an okay size, 36, 34 is uh, not bad. It's actually a pretty good size because the 34 is actually pretty tall. So there won't be a ton of supply in that 36, 34. And same with this kind of gray or color. Even with that little flaw there, I'm gonna pick these up. I'm gonna list these for probably 26 bucks, 
27 bucks plus shipping on eBay. And Poshmark, same price. We're gonna pick those up. Look at all those birthday wishes. How cool is the reselling community? How cool is that? Into the cart you go. Just sold a pair of small size uh, Levi Gray earlier today. Just shipped them out this morning on my morning time live. Appreciate everybody for who's double dipping who was in that live earlier today. We came back for more this afternoon. We got a J Crew here, 3322. I like the corduroy. I don't know. Would you pick up J Crew corduroy used? 33, 32, slim fit. I don't know. You guys had a whole, oh, I'll double check those. Thank you for that. Will you sell that for 26? Yeah, I sold a smaller size today on the best offer of 22 plus shipping for basically a very similar pair of Levi's jeans. No, that is outlet J. Crew. Cool, thank you. Artisan worsted. So worsted is wool. So we'll take a second look at this. It might still be nothing, but some of these pants tags are hard to find the brand. Artisan worsted. I have a feeling that this is a pass, but we're gonna look. Corbin, yeah, nothing there. I'm gonna put you on my knee so I can hang these pants up like a nice shopper. Because I like the people. Well, I'll do it either way, but I like the people at this thrift store. Dickies. Manager is a nice person. This cashier guy, he's a, he's a hoot. He always has stories and jokes and stuff. He was telling a joke a couple weeks ago. I wasn't on live, but he was telling a joke. DeMarini is a good brand to look for. Here's some baseball pants. I don't really do clothes with them, but baseball bats and stuff. These are kind of stained up. We're looking for wool. We're looking for corduroy. Of course, we're looking for a whole bunch of good brands. Looking for hiking pants. What else am I looking for? I forget. We're looking for new tags. Here's some new tags, something or other. Oh, Kirkland, that's nothing. Ever run across Psycho Bunny brand? Once. I bought and sold one Psycho Bunny polo. Sold pretty quick. It had a little bit of fade to it. I still feel like it sold for maybe like $35 or so. Good brand to look for, Psycho Bunny. It's got a bunny with like a skull and crossbones on the, on the tag and on, usually on the chest or something too. When I came across it, I had never heard of it before. It was just one of those items where you're like, you know, I feel like I should look this thing up. Turns out it's like a really hot brand, like expensive hot brand right now. So many doxers. Yeah, I don't, honestly, I get so, I'm so good at like tuning stuff out. If you ask me how many dockers I just went through, I'd be like, oh, I don't know, maybe one. Like I just, I feel like I just tune it out as soon as I see it, I don't even notice it. So here's a LL Bean with, I'm not gonna pick them up, but that's the comfort waist. So this is like that stretchy waist thing. There's just not a ton of value to those. I could see somebody picking them up to resell. You probably get 20 bucks, maybe upper teens plus shipping for it, but just not quite enough resale value for me. What hot brand was that? Psycho Bunny. It's not something you'll probably come across too, too often at a thrift store, but if you do, you should pick it up. Psycho Bunny. I've come across it once. Some more baseball pants. Baseball season's coming. Tennis season. But also the spring sports. Here's Mark Echo. I pick up some Mark Echo, but usually like really unique pieces. These khakis really don't have anything unique going on with them. What profit are you looking for? Um, I averaged $19 in profit per item in 2022. I like to keep my average there, so to do that, usually put a floor. I try not to pick up items that I think are going to get me less than 12 bucks in profit. If I think it's going to be a quick flipper, I might go below 12 to sell something for 10 or something like that, like a $10 profit. But, but again, there's different ways to do this. I used to have a higher threshold, but I don't find as the thrift stores here, I don't find as good inventory as I did in Florida. So I've had to sort of lower my threshold a bit and I'll break my $12 rule more consistently. It used to be more like a $14, $15 rule, but since I moved here to Asheville, it just, I don't find as consistent like fire. All right, so we already went through this rack. We've done all the pants. The pants were a total miss today. I think I got 
one pair of jeans. We'll spin through some shoes. Here's some Cole Haan. These are some Grand Motions. Oh, these are pretty crispy, actually. These aren't as good as the Zero Grand. These are Grand OS. What do you think about these? I've really slowed down on picking up Cole Hans. They don't sell as well as they used to for me, but these are super crispy. This would take like a literally a two minute, just a quick clean on these. Tons of wear left in them. Robert says, yes, they're a size men's 11. They're only five bucks. They're clean. This is kind of that like modern I guess you'd call this like almost like a modern like business casual shoe with the white bottom like that. Five bucks for these. Do it, Chris. Eric says yes. Dreamer, thank you for sharing the live. Get them, Illinois. Look at yes for five dollars. Look at all these people. Get them. Get them. Somebody said that there was something wrong with the these jeans were blown out. I don't think so. There's a little bit of there's like a little bit of a thin in the crotch, but a little thin, but it's good. I think I just sold five fourteens that were gray earlier today. I don't know if anyone remembers that, but everyone's yelling at me, get them, get them. I think y'all have uh like a like a authority issues. I'm just kidding. I appreciate y'all's input. I asked for it and you gave it to me. Here they would be like $14.99. I might just skim these, see if I can find some good shorts. Looking for patterns, looking for jeans. Nope. This is gonna be a quick skim. I see a cargo, Levi's Car Carpenters. Oh, these are beat. Wrangler Pearl Snap. I do buy Western shirts. Wrangler would be one of the brands that I pick up. I like buying and selling Western shirts. I picked up a Woolrich. It's in my cart right now that's got Western Pearl Snaps. Looking for golf shorts. Looking for jean shorts. Certain running shorts, not those. Hiking shorts. This stuff's all, all these shorts, they're about to start taking off in sales. February 15th, it kind of begins, and then March 1st, it's on. And it's a race to race to June 1st, basically. That's where the big sales for shorts, board shorts, golf polos, t-shirts, all those like summertime hiking shirts. I did this rack. We might be fresh out of racks. I'm gonna go ahead and spin through the women's jackets. It'll be kind of more of a, a skim. I did find a Patagonia doing this last week, a Patagonia fleece. So we'll do a quick skim of women's jackets. We'll just plow through these. Y'all know there's people in this chat that know women's brands way more than I do. Um, so let me know if there's something that I'm passing right by that's worth like a bunch of money and I just don't even know it because I'm na naive to it. Prisoner with a two bolo live here, Rock Mount Ranch wear, and Ryan Michaels Western shirts. So uh, anything that that Prisoner says, write it down. Is basically like, if you're new to these lives, if Prisoner says something, just take out your pen or do a screenshot of it, whatever you got to do, because she shares the best bolos, items that you probably never heard of that are worth good money. She'll give you the sell through rate typically too, but she's slack and she didn't give us a sell through rate on those. How do you know how to price it to resell? Best thing to do is to look up your item on eBay, uh, do a search on eBay, then filter that search for recent sales. So you can look at sales and then look at filter it for used if it's a used item. And you can see what it sold for, like the actual sale price of the last 90 days. And there you go. Of course, if you're pricing summer stuff right now, um, you might not trust those comps as well because those are going to be comps that are like December, January, and February. The price might go up a little bit on some of those, so you got to have a little bit of an instinct to it too. But looking at sold comps is a good place to start. Here's a Hickey Freeman. I don't pick up all of these. But this is a big size. To me, this is a borderline blazer brand. This is men's, by the way. Thanks for sharing the live again, Dreamer. I appreciate you. I don't have a size on here, but I think this means it's like 
Um, maybe Risner knows this. Why does this have the, um, it's like it's, it's like hasn't been tailored or it's in the middle of being tailored. Ooh, never mind. Hickey Freeman, I do pick up if they have good patterns. This one does. And if they're big sizes and good patterns, I'll pick them up. Typically, I'd list that for about $42 plus shipping and take offers on it. But that one had a... It's unfinished, gotcha. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, typically I'm looking for Hickey Freeman. I'm looking for big sizes and nice patterns. That combination will serve you well in Hickey Freeman. A list for 42 accept offers. Is that what they call single stitch? You got it, Snappy D. You got it, Snappy. Look at that, it looks like a members only, but it's World Passport. It's heavy. Super heavy. Looks like a members only. It's literally like a, it's like a knockoff of like that classic racer jacket. It's heavy. Yeah, that might be comment of the day status. I don't feel like that game is over though. I feel like someone could still win it, but that might be comment of the day so far. Was that was that flannel? Was what flannel? When you remember when you use words like that, I don't I don't know what you're talking about. There's so many things you could be referring to. Do members only jackets sell? Yeah, the vintage ones sell still sell pretty good. I sold one fairly recently. Is it heavy? Super heavy that jacket. If you're talking about that members only knockoff jacket, yes. Uh, 3XL tees. I'm probably not going to go through the tees today, unfortunately. Uh, I just don't really do well. I'll go through all those tees, and I won't. I won't find a single one. And they probably don't have many 3XL. They don't have a section for 3XL, so I'd have to go through a, a lot of tees just to find that. But if tees are your game, that's cool. Just really not my game. You just passed it. Passed what? <laughs> Now I just think you're playing with me. Do you find anything in the pockets? I do, yeah. Find money in the pockets. Find all kinds of stuff in pockets. Look for rainbow tag. Keyword cafe racer. Okay, that's a good one. Here's a royal... I thought that was a royal robin tag. But let's see. Do you look through the women's athletic wear? Uh, I skim through women's. Sometimes I'm not going to go through the athletic wear today. I skim through... I'm going through the jackets right now. I'm not going to end up doing the athletic wear. Appreciate the follow, Miranda. This is Goodwill, Nashville, North Carolina. There's definitely going to be some women's brands that I'm going to skip right by. But if you slow me down, I'll slow down. You don't need to apologize, Erwin, but I'm glad your son is down. I don't know that brand. Unif, I don't know that. knows what uh what movie this song was from thanks for the follow katie i swear they always play the best music in the thrift store Asheville's my closest bins from knoxville that's interesting you would think that they would have bins in the knoxville area it's a big enough uh metro area the yeah, Asheville bins is like their that's like the, i think the headquarters for all of goodwill of Northwest North Carolina. So that's where they have like their career center and stuff too. So I think that's why they have a bins there, even though our metro is not as big as the Knoxville metro. 
think that's like the headquarters. That's right, we got some Ghostbusters guesses. The song was from Ghostbusters. I think Ghostbusters won, but correct me if I'm wrong. Seller, Zara, good seller on Posh, good to know. What the heck is that? Hydraulic. It feels really cheap, but I've never seen that brand before. Good guess on those Ghostbusters. Do you thrift the bins there? I don't. I just don't really do the bins. I respect those that do. Sometimes I go dark and I'm just not really talking and sometimes I'm putting the phone away just because somebody's usually like in my shirt basically, so. Although there's nothing wrong with doing what I'm doing, I just generally don't draw attention to it and that avoids weird conversations with people and stuff, so. I'd rather, I'd rather talk to y'all. Or I'll point the phone away if somebody's like, I don't want, I try not to get people on camera. Sometimes it's gonna happen, but. Out of respect, I try to avoid that. Kind of a cool J. Crew piece. I'm probably not going to pick it up, but we'll check for Goose Town. Materials tags ripped out. I'll pass on it. Kind of a cool pattern on that, huh? It's unique anyway. I think you passed a Milano. Is that worth a... Uh, is Milano good? Yeah, I mean, people are always on their phone, just, like, talking, whatever. They're on FaceTime or they're on... They're just, you know, on speakerphone and stuff shopping. So I just think people just generally don't care, don't pay attention, don't even know what I'm doing. I don't mind if they know. I just try to... If I can avoid... Unnecessary contact, why not? I mean, it's not the most subtle thing that I'm doing in the world. Taiwan Tour Master, was that? Taiwan Tour Master? What was that? I don't know. It didn't feel like it was anything new. Vintage track. Strange looking piece, though, for sure. Peck a Peck, it's kind of a funny name. Apostrophe. I have a sick relationship with Columbia. <laughs> I don't know how to respond to that. You'll have to add some context there. Gosh, all these like jackets, like these kind of classic jackets. We're just we're gonna find something crazy here. What is this? Like a Umbro. This is a really small size. It's a kid size, like Umbro. This reminds me of something people had back in the late 80s, early 90s. Yeah, it's a kid's large. I'm not at the tunnel Goodwill. That was last week. That was last week. I might go to the I might go to that location again this week. We'll see. I've done well each of the last two weeks. Wanted to give the store a little bit of a chance to breathe, though. That store is busy, though, so I think it can hit it with more regularity. It's busier than this one. Oh, Umbro was, was it back? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Everyone had the Umbro shorts. And I don't think I ever had a jacket, but I'm sure I had, like, T-shirts and stuff, too. Oops. Man down. Just a quick sort of like heads up. Do you, do you pick up as much? No, because uh, K-Way goes to that store that he goes to is just like a, a total fire drill. 
if I had a store like that around here, um, you'd be driving to like a BMW or something. I wouldn't be, but you get the idea. That store is just a total fire drill. The thrift stores in general, when I was in Tampa, I would find better stuff. It's a bigger metro area than here in Asheville by a ginormous amount um, in a higher concentration of wealth. That's two things that make for really good thrift stores. So yeah, I've passed on this thing a few times. Territory Head is a good brand, I pick it up. I'm not gonna pick up that one though. It's a women's kind of vesty thingy. But yeah, I do not pick up as much as, as K-Way does. Oh, check this out. This is in the women's section. This is a, that's a men's tag. What do we got for a size? What are we working with here? It's a little corduroy piece. Maybe no size tag. Nope. So maybe we'll get another fresh rack. They're just emptied out those three that were there maybe we'll get a new fresh rack and just slam maybe the next one uh, i do pick up territory not that piece jason that was a women's vest thing really not about a lot of value there so there's no size in this i don't care i'm just going to measure this when i get home and i'll know exactly what size it is so we got corduroy uh, a modern warren ralph warren and yes these patterns on the inside do subtly help these items so in my experience so that's a good piece right here i'm going to list this for probably uh, somewhere in the 40s um, probably more like 49 plus shipping and they're going to have this listed at seven bucks yeah they do a nice job keeping the store neat and it feels like that maybe they're like doing a little bit better job with staffing too it's been really tough to find staff i think a lot of the country but since I got up here, a lot of these stores, restaurants, everyone's having a tough time with staff still. Appreciate the doll, Jason. Appreciate the big love. Gifts are unnecessary, but appreciated. Dude, that's my card. Well, you better guard your card a little bit better with the peek around. Appreciate all those gifts, Jason. Super kind of you. If you guys aren't following Jason Hayes, what are you thinking? Go give him a follow. That's literally the dude who taught me 95% of what I know about reselling. A little hidden new tag piece. Tags were hidden on the inside. Got a women's pullover. Retail price, 70 bucks. A little Adidas piece. Gosh, that's a small piece, extra small. Probably women's extra small here. Yeah, women's pullover, so women's extra small. I don't know, what do you think? No, that I feels it. like an item that would be like a retail store that you could probably get on clearance right now for 20 bucks. Thanks for the follow, actual actual artist actual artist i might be reading it wrong yes on the adidas pass jason says pass uh good question on how much it is oh my gosh 15 dollars. <laughs> i feel like the resale value on this is probably 20 bucks just because with an item like this new attacks it seems like oh my gosh it's such a great item but you're competing with retailers who are have carrying adidas and putting them for way off but 15 bucks is crazy I thought it was going to be like five bucks. Definitely be high, yeah. yeah. All the opinions coming out. It was a men, it was a women's extra small, brother. Women's extra small. We passed on it. Too much. Yep, we passed on it. We're good. Moving on. Appreciate everybody's opinion there. Hey, question for y'all. What do you think about that idea? Should I pick it up? If I wind up at the beans, somebody will get it for a steal, and that's awesome. And then they'll resell it and they'll make them some good money. It's an interesting LL Bean tag, a little bit older, women's tag, size small. It's a kind of weird, kind of weird LL Bean. 
Appreciate the uh, invite to join Mike. I'm just gonna roll here solo. Appreciate it though. Got some yes, no, no. I would pick up the Adidas for sure. Lion Creek Boutique. If you're not following Lion Creek Boutique, give him a follow too. He's live all the time. When's the next time you're gonna go live? On Lion Creek Boutique, give him a follow too. He's live all the time. When's the next time you're gonna go live, Lion Creek? Lion Creek knows this stuff, especially if you're not reselling golf, you should be reselling golf. And you know, the teacher you need is Lion Creek Boutique. We're just getting into the front end of like golf sales, just pumping off, just going crazy. So if you wanna learn more about golf, shipping golf, what golf to pick up, Lion Creek is your dude. His name is David. Uh, he's been a friend of mine here in the, uh, the interwebs for quite some time, a few years now. I learned a ton from him. I think you'd learn a lot from him too. Give Lion Creek a follow. Some great resellers in the chat, which makes this a lot more fun. Adidas collabs are pricey. Yep, that's a good thing. Appreciate the follow you, uh, you Tia. Appreciate it. Salty Mermaids, that's a cool name. Love yourself, appreciate the follow. Awakens, appreciate the follow. I'm in Asheville, North Carolina at a Goodwill. I'll give you a quick spin around. Try not to spin around and put a camera in people's face, but. Skimming through some women's jackets. It's been pretty dry. Got some good stuff in the cart. If you missed the good stuff, you can go back and watch this. I'm going to post this recording on YouTube. That'll be live a little bit later on this evening. I'll put a notification here on, or I'll put a, a story up on TikTok and then uh, up on Instagram too. We're gonna go through a couple more shoes just to make sure we didn't miss any bangers. And then we're gonna get out of here. What's the best piece you found? Um, the first one that comes to mind, I don't know if this is the best one, but the first one that comes to mind is I, I found a, uh, a jacket from Gill. It's called an Offshoreman, Offshoreman jacket. And I paid like 12 or 15 bucks for it. And it sold, I think for 350 or 360 bucks. It's a pretty good buy. Is that the best one? I don't remember, but that's the first one that comes to mind. Oh, that's kind of funny. Kind of like Tom's, they have bobs. <laughs> I love the knockoffs. Uh, we already showed this once, but those of you who are just joining, keep an eye out for this brand here in, in shoes and boots. Big time money brand, but these are torched. Look at no life what, whatsoever. This person wore them to the bone. But that's a great brand to look for. Screenshot that if you have to. From the join mic, we're gonna pass right now. But uh, let's do, take a quick spin through the uh, through the hard goods. I'm gonna remember where my cart was. We'll go through the hard goods real quick. Um, I'm usually like only going out like once a week. Um, I might go out twice this week. Do a spin through hard goods. We'll do a spin through some shoes too. I'm gonna to park this right here. We'll do some hard goods. Hold up for that though. We'll do shoes. Look at this thing. 40 bucks for that thing. Fresh candy. Pretty neat. Not my game though. Take a quick spin through shoes. You're not gonna be able to see every one of these. It's just kind of like a tall rack here, but I'm just gonna spin through real quick. The one thing that can hit pretty good for shoes, particularly around here, because we're in the mountains, you can find some good hiking boots and stuff that are worth good money. Wait, it's echoey over here, the sound over in this corner. This is just a quick pass. I don't find a lot of good shoes at this store, so I don't spend a lot of time going through them. Give them a skim. All right. They got that priced at 180, 180 bucks for the saw. 180 bucks. How about it? 
we ever found a, a Patagonia Retro X? I don't think I've found a Retro X. From, I know exactly what that is. I don't remember if I've, I've found one before. The good news is, is here you can buy, you can buy stuff and take it home. And if it doesn't work, you have seven days to return it. At thrift stores down in the ones that I frequented anyway in, in Tampa, they didn't let you return anything, including electronics. I do pick up some of these. I've picked up a few of these in the past. And depending on the price, we might pick this one up too. Uh, 26 bucks, 25.95. So this is in good shape. This is a Jack Lane power juicer. And actually what I do with these now is I'll just pick them up. I usually part them out. At 25, I don't want to go through the process of cleaning this thing up and parting it out, but I have a little bit cheaper money. There's some money to be made there. You've got to look these up based on the based on the model number. So this model number, if you feel like looking it up, is JLS88. So you can get an idea of how much these things go for. Different ones are worth different money, but this one's JLS88. So a little teaching moment right there. That might be something that you pick up. I picked up a few of those before. I think I sold one full, like, like a full unit. It was complete and it worked. And I sold another one, I, I parted it out. Bourbon bottles, question mark. Yep, too expensive. Some thrift stores are priced higher than department stores. Yeah, there you go. Sorry, I don't know that, I don't understand the question. Bourbon bottles, question mark. If you're offering me bourbon, I'll take it. But I don't know if that's what you're getting at. Check out some golf clubs here. Look at these old rear entry Solomons. That's an old, old ski boot. They haven't made them like that since the early 90s. That's funny. There's some more older ski boots. Older Solomons. Those are at least a front end. You go to the back. Okay. to see here I think you probably know what I thought those were I thought those were some pings but they're not I've actually sold a, a pogo stick before it took forever to sell by the way in case you were wondering Predator piece, but what a mercy, 30 bucks. <laughs> what in the... I don't even know what that is. Is it like, oh, it's like a, like a Christmas calendar thing. Depends on which one. Some of them are 11, like a Christmas. Some are 13, a little one's 7. Oh, whoa. Like, yeah. Some straw bale for five seventy five.
uh, good money to do something like that. So to me, that the fact that the CEO um, makes a lot of money, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't buy that as a critique for Goodwill because you have to hire a, a, a CEO based on supply and demand of the of the labor market. So who's going to apply for that job for like fifty thousand dollars or a hundred thousand dollars? If you want a, a CEO that can help you your company continue to grow and hit its goals, you're going to need to spend money for that person. So I appreciate critiques of Goodwill, but I just don't know that that's a that that's a really thought thought through critique. They're obviously hiring the best woman or man for that job that's going to help them achieve their goals. And that's what the board of directors job is to do is to hire that person. So here's a revereware. I do pick these up from time to time. It's going to be tough to see the logo on there, but that's a revereware. It does need a little bit of cleaning up, but it's in good shape. It's four bucks. This is probably a, a two quart saucepan, maybe a two and a half quart saucepan, probably a $20 item here. Um, it's got a little dent there, which isn't the biggest deal. I could easily pick that up and make a little bit of money off of it, but I'm going to have to do some like elbow grease work on this, some mineral oil to revive that handle. I'm okay with just not picking that up and, uh, but there is money to be made in that. If you pick those up, uh, good for you, but if it was a buck, maybe I'd pick it up. I just don't really feel like cleaning that thing. Oh yeah, the two circles thing, I forgot about that. Let's see. Yeah, it is the two circles. So this would be an older revereware piece. I don't know, for $4. I think I'm gonna pass on it either way. And it has the lid. Yeah, I mean, that's, a, that's an item that you can make money off of for sure. Got a little dance, show some wear. There is money to be made there. And I've sold a lot of Revere wear. And when I get into like garage sale season and I start buying stuff for a buck or so, oh, where's my cart? I always forget where I leave it. If I buy stuff for like a buck or so at a, at a garage sale or buy like a whole set of those for a few bucks, that's a different story, you know? But right now I'm in clothing mode and I want to stay there. Stuff like that just in my, in my game just doesn't uh, doesn't get listed very quickly. I do want to take a closer look at some of these too. There's some money being made in tumblers and whatnot. And I just don't see anything. Oh well. Is there money to be made in like some of these cups and stuff? Yep. Could there be some good like vintage utensils in here? Absolutely. I'm just gonna choose not to dig through those. But there is money to be made in all those places. So that's our quick tour of the hard goods. And we got nothing, but I could have got that Revere Wear pan, but. And I could have picked up that Jack Lane juicer and parted that out and made some money too. But I'm gonna to choose not to. I don't really want to pay 25 bucks for it. And again, those when I pick up items like that, I just sit on them forever. I drag my feet and fast with clothes. I'm not fast with hard goods until I get into the garage sale season, then I might change my tune about that. Where's the store? It's at Asheville, North Carolina. Just had a look, I used Revere Wear. I didn't realize they were worth anything. Yeah, yeah, it's funny. Uh, my mom had like a pair of Revere Wear set she bought when she first got married back in 1979. Anyway, let's flip this camera around here. Appreciate everybody, I didn't even realize I could look at the stats. Appreciate all my top viewers. Jason in the weed, number one with 117 coins. Eric, number two, and Kat from Sunrise Listings, number three, appreciate that. Appreciate everybody hanging out here, all my top viewers. Look at the blue light special blue sweater at the end of the aisle. That looks like someone's grandma crocheted it or something. <laughs> Good eye on that, but yeah, I think, uh, boy, it's heavy. That is heavy. I think that's a, uh, a, a custom made grandma special right there. Thompson, thanks for the follow. Uh, if you want to catch the rest of this live where I uh, stocked up this cart here, I'm gonna post this on YouTube later on this evening. I'll put a notification up here in a story here on TikTok and on Instagram too. So if you wanna check out the whole thing, 
that'll be up on YouTube. I also have three more live thrift videos up there too. So start stacking those up. If you're not following me over on YouTube, consider clicking the link up above here, click on my name and just go over my YouTube. Appreciate having you over there too. Go get the pan, it's silver. Thank you for that, thank you for that. I'm gonna pass on that Revereware. It is, there's money to be made with the Revereware. I'm just gonna choose not to make that money this time. Um, I'm gonna flip this camera around real quick. Say goodbye to everybody. Appreciate you guys hanging out today. If I can flip this camera, here it is. So appreciate everybody hanging out today. I had a lot of fun. Thrifting's a lot more fun when you go with your friends. What do you think of that shirt? Did some cardio today. But yeah, I had a lot of fun. Um, and I, I know some people tipped me off on a few different items too, especially that new brand. What is it called? I already forgot. Holderness and Born, which is a new brand for me. Never picked that up before. So appreciate you guys tipping me off on that. Sunrise, appreciate you being here. Peace, everybody. Again, this will be live. We'll re put up this recording. Nope. Hey, guess what? We're sticking around. We got a new rack. We got a new rack. There's the new rack. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. I, I was kidding. We're staying. We're going to do that rack. We're going to flip the camera. We're going to hit the new rack. It's mean for you to get my beeps in there, but they're in there now. No, I love the beeps. That's <laughs> awesome. It just adds. I love it. I appreciate it. She knows what I'm up to. Fire, Eric. Let's go. Get it. Get the rack. Fresh rack. We got some jeans in here. It's tight, too. Jeez. Jeez Louise. It's going to be hard to, like, one hand this. It's so tight. Give me one. Daisy Fuentes jeans. Just for interest, since I work here, what, uh, what's the name of your channel? Uh, Chris at Peak. You can see it right there. Chris at Peak. All right. I'll remember that. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. That's the uh, manager of the store. We've already complimented today, so maybe she'll go check us out over on YouTube, too. Check out this whole recording. That'd be cool. She's super nice. And I love that they put the racks out here, and they let me go through them. They let everybody do this, not just me, but... There's a Warren Ralph Warren size XL. Probably got to pass on this, but we'll take a peek. Yeah, we'll pass on that. Get us some new rack magic. I have a return. Uh-oh, return. Mossimo. Pass on that. What is this fur thing? Now she's going to mark everything up. Yeah, well, they have flat, flat price in here, so she would only have so much control over that. And I know you're kidding anyway. What are these fur jackets? Should I look at those? They don't feel like they're real. Well, we got really excited about this fresh rack and maybe nothing. What is this? Reebok, authentic pro line. I think that's a, uh, if it's not vintage, it's older, but I think that is vintage. Maybe. Decent pickup, little Reebok hit on the back. Big NFL on that sleeve hit. What do we got on the other sleeve? Almost missed that. So what else do we miss in here? Haste makes waste, so they say. Nothing there. Lucky brand, nothing. I think that is officially it. Tommy Hilfiger jeans, shorts, nothing to see there. Cool. All right, well, we did all right one extra piece. All right, well, that's it. I'll call that a wrap. Appreciate everybody hanging out for a little bit.